countdown to the U.S. presidential elections has begun as the race to the White House nears. My colleague Jyotsna Kumar has the latest for you. Listen to this. All right, well, yes, the election day is near. The U.S. presidential candidates have launched their frantic final hours of campaigning to court the last holdouts in the bitterly contested election. Now let's take, at the stories, take a look at the stories that are shaping the race. Now, while the election day is on Tuesday, over 77 million people have already voted with nearly 48 hours to go for the day. The figure amounts to just over half of the total ballots cast in 2020. The Vice President Kamala Harris also joined the early voters. The Democratic presidential candidate told reporters that she has mailed in her absentee ballot to California as she campaigned in the swing state of Michigan. Now, with the unprecedented early voting numbers, Republican presidential candidate Donald Trump has doubled down on his predictions over voter fraud in battleground states. Now, he claimed that Democrats in the crucial swing state of Pennsylvania are fighting so hard to steal the election. But you ought to damn well go to paper ballots. You ought to go to voter ID. And you ought to have the election over by 9 o'clock. I'm hearing now they're going to take weeks. Can you imagine? They spend all this money, all this money on machines, and they're going to say, we may take an extra 12 days to determine. And, and what do you think happens during that 12 days? What do you think happens? Uh, Trump complained to supporters about gaps in the bulletproof glass around him at a rally. Trump noted that there were gaps in the panes of glass around him. He then went on to add that an assassin would have to shoot through the news media to get him. He added, I don't mind that so much. Now, the former president has escaped two attempted assassinations this year, including being grazed in the ear by a gunman's bullet during a July rally in Pennsylvania. And... I have a piece of glass over here, and I don't have a piece of glass there. <laughs> and I have this piece of glass here, but all we have really over here is the fake news, right? <laughs> and to get me, somebody would have to shoot through the fake news. And I don't mind that so much, because I don't mind. I don't mind that. A final New York Times Siena poll flagged incremental changes in swing states, but the results from all seven remained within the margin of error. Meanwhile, Harris got a boost as the final Des Moines Register poll for Iowa showed a stunning turnaround with Harris ahead in a state won easily by Trump in 2016 and 2020. Trump dismissed the findings as a fake poll. Now, Harris, desperate to shore up with the Great Lakes states known as the Blue Wall, seen as essential to any Democratic victory, spent the day in Michigan. The Trump Sunday timetable centered on Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia, the three biggest swing state prizes in the electoral college system that award states influence, and this is according to their population. And two days away from the presidential elections, and today we put the spotlight on the battleground state of Michigan. Falling in the Rust Belt region, the state is famous for the Great Lakes and the automotive industry. Now watch this next report to know how the battleground state of Michigan could sway the U.S. presidential election. Michigan, one of America's most pivotal swing states, is poised to play a decisive role in the 2024 presidential election. With a history of flipping between parties, Michigan has seen a bellwether in recent elections. After going Republican in 2016, the state turned back to the Democrats in 2020 by a slim margin, making it a key target for both parties as they head into the final stretch of this race. Let's dive into Michigan's role in this year's high-stakes election. With a population of over 10 million 
and 15 electoral votes up for grabs, Michigan has consistently been a battleground that can tilt the Electoral College. Its politically mixed population and swing tendencies make Michigan an essential state for both campaigns. In 2020, President Biden won Michigan by 2.8%. Thanks in large part to high turnout in Detroit and other urban areas where Democratic voters, especially younger and diverse communities, turned out strongly. With a broad range of demographics and a mix of Michigan remains highly competitive. The 2020 presidential election in Michigan was tightly contested. Biden's win here returned the state to the Democratic side after Trump's 2016 victory. The close margin in 2020 underscored just how every vote counts in Michigan. With the state's mix of Democratic and Republican bases making it anyone's game, Biden appeared to be a favorite among women, the African-American and Latino voters, as well as college graduates. While Trump bagged the support of men, the white population. Kamala Harris leads Donald Trump in Michigan by a slim margin of 1 percentage points, 48% to Trump's 47%, as of October 30th, as per a CNN poll. However, recent polls also showed Trump sometimes ahead, Harris winning by a slim margin or a tie. For Harris to secure Michigan and improve her chances of winning the presidency, she needs strong support from key voter groups, including young voters, Arab Americans and black voters. Michigan voters identify the economy, abortion and immigration as their top issues. Trump has tailored his campaign in Michigan to focus on two of these areas. Emphasizing a revival of the auto industry to address job losses and his stance on illegal immigration, which he argues has hurt the working class. Meanwhile, while Harris' strengths include her stance on abortion rights, the state's 2022 constitutional amendment securing these rights may have reduced the issue's immediate importance for Michigan voters. Will Michigan hold steady with the Democrats or will it swing back to the Republicans, as it did back in 2016? This state is said to be one of the most crucial battlegrounds on election night. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One. And covering our elections from the U.S. is our correspondent Susan Tirani, who brings you this report from Times Square in New York. Listen. As the 2024 presidential race comes to a close, the final New York Times Siena poll reveals a virtual tie between Kamala Harris and former President Donald Trump. The seven key battleground states are split with Harris slightly ahead in Georgia, Nevada, North Carolina and Wisconsin, while Trump has a narrow lead in Arizona and Michigan. Pennsylvania remains deadlocked. Notably, Harris has gained support among young and black Hispanic voters, while Donald Trump has made inroads with white voters without a college degree. Nonetheless, it's safe to say it's anyone's game come November 5th. And we'll be following up with all of the latest and bringing you all of the latest on Leon. I'm Susan Tehrani in the heart of New York City's Times Square for Leon with video journalist Niraj Patal. And that's all for today. Over to you, Rahe Shanheem.